Are you wondering what's in the cards for you this spring? A job promotion or maybe a new love interest? Or maybe you're just looking for signs of change? Well, we have a treat ahead for you. Nick Criswell has been reading tarot cards for years and today he brings his witchy skills to our set. So hello, Nick, welcome. Hello, so Leanne. first of all, tell me a little bit of the origins of, of tarot cards. Yeah, so actually the origins of tarot go back to the 1500s. Um, there was this artist that was commissioned to do these art pieces for this royal family in Italy. Oh. Um, from there, it didn't really have any esoteric meaning at, the, at that point. It wasn't until the 1800s, late 1800s, that this underground divinatory order where they would study the occult um, came into place. And that's when they developed meanings for these cards, which created the New Age mysticism that we have today. Very cool. And how did yeah. you get into it? Um, so I've always been spiritual. I grew up in the church, um, but I never really felt aligned with that kind of way of looking at life. Um, so it wasn't until I moved to Canada in 2018 um, that I had a reading that said I was going to find the love of my life. And I did within that year. And I, yeah, so I moved to Canada and um, just started doing it for myself and for other people. And I noticed reactions of people crying. People were angry because it was calling out the truth. Um, and I realized I have something special with this. And I think when I realized I had that, that power within me is when manifested opportunities came for me. So I ended up working at the biggest crystal store in Northern BC, shout out Sisters Rock and Gem in Prince George. <laughs> um, she opened so many doors for me with opportunities to just be able to connect with people on a deeper level. And okay, cool. Yeah. And so each of these decks, they all mean something. They all do different things. So these tarot decks are actually all the same principle. So the tarot deck is always 78 cards. Okay. So you're gonna have 56 minor themes of our life, and then you're gonna have 22 major themes of our life. Okay. And the way those are broken down is like, for instance, there's a suit of cups that has to do with our emotional self. So what fills our cup? What makes us feel whole? Um, it has to do with relationships and being in harmony with relationships. Um, but each suit kind of has a different set to it. All right. Yeah. Well, should we should we take a reading and see what mine says? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, how should so we do this? I think today we're just going to do a past, present, future reading. Just get your feet wet in tarot because I know right. you're new to this. I am. Um, so I basically will just ask you a number between one and five, okay. and you give me that number. Okay. So uh, just pick a number then. Just pick a number. Two. Two. Okay. Perfect. I feel like it's too bright in here. It should be, you know, moodier. <laughs> Maybe candles. <laughs> No, I think this is perfect. It's good? Okay. Yeah, it makes right. it less scary, okay. right, for people, because it really isn't scary. So I just do that to basically bring your energy into the reading. All right. All right, and then I'll lay these out. All right. And I'll just have you pick three and just lay them out one, two, three there. Okay. Oh, put, keep them over. Oh. Sorry, sorry. Okay. I should have said that. <laughs> should I do that again for Brad? No, it's okay. You grabbed it already, so I say go with it. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so there are my three. Perfect. All right, so we'll close these up here. And the first card here is going to be the past. So what are we seeing in the past here? Ooh, the devil. Okay, let me get rid of a misconception about the devil. People think it's like, oh, no, this evil energy is coming for me. But the reality is it's just our addiction to materialism. So, like, say we have a handbag addiction. Like, it could be that. That's not me. Am I calling all. you out right now? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just anything that keeps us bound to the material world. Mm -hmm. So it's an opportunity to, to step into more of your spirituality okay. and connecting to yourself. Okay. Um, so that's mainly the theme of that. And this is a big theme card. Like, you know how I explain there's big themes and minor themes. Um, so this is something that, like, we've worked through with the past. Um, okay, this was pandemic shopping. So we're yes. going to open the next card. <laughs> Which, completely fair. I get it. I'm there too. Oh, and then this card is... It's Three of Pentacles, so this one is a collaborative card. It's basically the completion of a project. Um, like, we're coming to the, the end of something and beginning, the new of, uh, beginning a new opportunity. Okay, um, well, that's very trippy because I just wrapped up a pilot project yesterday with a team, so. No way. There you go. That's yes, wild. Yes, yeah, it's kind of like, like this uh, stoplight going on here. So it's like, here's the green light, finish it up. Move on to the next. Yep. Email uh, was uh, hit sent yesterday at 8 p.m. So. Yes. Wow. Okay. We love this okay. alignment, right? Yeah. Yeah. So this is past, present, and future, right? So this is where the, yes. So okay. this is where the story gets kind of fun because the cards connect. So like the devil, like we got rid of that, maybe those feelings mm -hmm. and we invited this into the energy currently and that's helping us 
progress forward. So in the future, let's see what we got here. Ooh, okay. So again, with Pentacles, that has to do with skills, experiences, um, and opportunities. So here, it's almost like there's so much happening in the physical, I'm feeling, that we need to balance it with our spiritual side. Because it's almost like she's being pulled in two different directions, but we need to put those and coax them towards the same energy. Oh, okay. Um, so just taking time to meditate and, you know, light your incense and right, just right. Connect, to, connect inward. Okay, connect inward. Yeah. All right, I love that. That is very cool. All right, so uh, Nick, um, is there anything else you think people should know about, you know, tarot cards when, you know, they're approaching this as, as a new thing? Yeah, um, you know, take your time. It took me years. I'm still learning every day. Like, that's what I love about this craft. It's something you can constantly improve. Um, don't be scared if you pull the hangman or the devil or death. Like, they really don't have the meanings that we think they do, that Hollywood portrays. Because, um, I mean, cinema in the late 1800s really painted a horrible picture of this craft. And that's continued into today. But the reality is there's nothing wrong with it. Right. It just helps us heal. Right. So, so when people come to you, what kind of questions are they asking typically? Um, usually, like, promotion or, like, you know, maybe I'm in a crossroads in life. Usually it's crossroads. It's like, what do I do to move forward? Um, and when they sit down with me at the end, they, you know, 99% of the time they feel aligned and ready to take that next step for themselves. And it just feels good to be a part of that and connect with people on a deeper level. Okay, very yeah. cool. And so, Nick, if uh, people want to learn more, where can they find more information? Um, well, you can actually book a reading with me at thewitchygay.com. Um, I have four different reading offerings on there right now. And if you live in the Vancouver area, I can do a reading in person as well and kind of explain more. Mm. Um, I'm actually working on a tarot deck myself right now that I'm photographing. Um, so I'm really excited to, to launch that later this year. Okay, well, we're excited to see more from you. Thank you so much, Nick, for coming in today. Appreciate it. Tell me a bit about my future. Yes, definitely. Thank you, Leanne. I appreciate it.